Hola, científicos. That means scientists in español. How are you today? Muy bien. I'm having a great, great day today as well. I'm excited to continue being a scientist with all of you. Do you remember what we did yesterday? Great memoria. We launched our question, how do scientists remember their observations and learning? And also started answering that by creating our own science notebooks. I hope you have your notebook handy because we'll be using that in a little bit. Today, we're going to sketch or draw in our notebooks to help us learn more about plants. Oh, do you remember that too? I wanted to know how plants grow and had done an experiment to answer that, and now you are all going to go through that process with me. But scientists, I don't want my notebook to be the only example that you see. So I had some science teachers help me out and put together some notebook pages for us to observe. Let's go ahead and see what they put together. I want you to pay attention to what you see on the pages and not just what animals you see, but what details do you notice? Did they write the date like we did? Let's check them out. What did you notice, Cientificos? I saw a lot of important things and I made a list of them. Let's read through it. Maybe you saw the same things as me. I saw date, questions, it was clear, had sketches, labels, writing, and colors. Is there anything else that you noticed? I see, Antificos, you're so funny. Of course, there were birds in the images. But remember, we were looking for what the scientists did, not exactly what they drew. Maybe we can describe how they drew the birds? I think they drew them very accurately. And that means it looked like an actual bird, not like a silly cartoon bird. You know what? Saying that specific word reminded me of something special with, that science teachers came up with. Have you all heard of the A, B, C, D, E? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't mean the alphabet. But you're not wrong. That question was a little confusing. The ABCDEs of science is a code to help scientists remember what to incorporate in their notebooks. Some of you are probably wondering, um, Maestra, what are the ABCDEs though? Well, I'm first going to tell you what each letter stands for, and then we'll dig deeper by looking at my science notebook sketch to see if I follow the ABCDEs. The A is for accurate, which means that the sketch looks correct. I have an example. Sometimes when we draw faces, we draw dots for our eyes, but this is not an accurate drawing. Our, our eyes are not dots. They're bigger and have different shapes. B is for big. That means that when you sketch in your science notebooks, take up about as much space on the page as you can. You wanna be able to go and read what you learned, to go back and read what you learned. The C is for colorful. I don't think I need to explain this one. We all read D and E on the list, but tomorrow we will go over them even more. Right now, I need your help. Scientists help each other and always review each other's work and research. I was hoping that you, my wonderful scientists, could take a look at my sketch from the break and see if it has the first three components of A, B, C, D, E. Do you think you can help me with that? Buenísimo. First, let's look at what I wanted to sketch. This image shows how the seeds looked on the fourth day while they were wrapped in wet towels. Next, you'll see my sketch of the seeds. So, scientists, was my sketch accurate? Como que no, not really. Was it big? Yeesh, not really. Was it colorful? <sighs> You're right. I didn't use any color. Scientists, if I hadn't taken pictures of the seeds, I don't think I would have remembered when the seeds looked like that. The way I did my sketch does not help me remember my learning. But since I do have the, that picture, maybe all of you can help me make a better sketch using ABC. What do you think of that? Oh, muchísimas gracias. You are all so wonderful for helping me. Well, <laughs> I should start by taking out my science notebook. Do you want to sketch this while I sketch it too? Awesome. Well, so you should take out your notebook, a pencil, an eraser, and coloring utensils. Let's gather our supplies so we can get started. 
Great notebook pencil. Cool. Muy bien. I'm going to start by writing today's date, January 20th, 2021. We go to the next blank page. So that's yesterday. Awesome. January 2021. <laughs> Next, we should look at the image again while we sketch so that we can be as accurate as possible. We'll try to keep the picture on the screen for you to see. So I noticed that there are three seeds. So we should have three seeds on our paper. I'm going to outline the shapes that I see, and I need to make sure to include the, the little parts shooting out of the two seeds on the side. Please draw with me. All right, let's get this one. Accurate, big, colorful. Make sure to make it big. Ooh. Accurate, so this has the little shoots. Boop. This one looks like a peach. This one's up here and it looks like a little ponytail. Great job. Do these seeds look bigger and more accurate than in my last sketch? How did yours come out? Buenísimo. Let's keep going. The only things I need to do now is color my seeds. They are beige and the shoots are a little lighter with yellow tips. I'll try to show that in my drawing. And scientists, I recommend using colored pencils because markers are a little too dark. And it's dark down here, and it's yellow on this end. A little yellow here. This one was really yellow brown, interesting. <gasps> I forgot to draw some dots. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe add a little brown. Okay, that looks a lot better. All right. Whew. I am sure glad that these seeds are so big. It made it easier to add the colorful details. Well, what do you think of my new sketch? I agree, it looks so much better. Scientists, I'm happy that you were able to help me. And I'm glad you also had a chance to add something to your notebook. Tomorrow, or today, we made our sketches accurate, big, and colorful. Tomorrow, we will find out what the other two components, what other two components will help us answer our question. How do scientists remember their observations and learning? Thank you so much for your help and enjoy the rest of the show and I can't wait to see you mañana. <laughs>